Before we get into Unamate, I want to just talk a little bit about Yerba Mate itself. So I almost always butcher this name, but Elix paraguariensis. Yeah, I got it right. Elix paraguariensis is the plant name that's also called Yerba Mate, much easier to say. And this is a plant that's been used in, traditionally in South America for centuries for its ben positive benefits on mental and physical health. And it's really an interesting custom that they have. The way that they traditionally consume it is that these dry leaves like shown here are placed in a gourd and then they pour in the hot water and there's a special straw, a special metal straw that has a filter um, that they use to drink it and that prevents them from drinking up the leaves. But that straw is called a bombilla. Um, and this is, it's a social tradition. So people will have the gourd and pass it around the group and they're talking and socializing. I'm guessing COVID has put a stop to a lot of that at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be back soon. But interesting backstory on yerba mate itself. And yerba mate is the key ingredient in Unimas, Unicity's Unimate product. Um, but it's not just any yerba mate that we have in there. It's a specialized extract from high quality yerba mate leaves that have undergone this uh, patented five-step process that really take the potency of those leaves to the next level. Okay, so here is what that process looks like. So first, our yerba mate leaves are handpicked in South America, and then they're fire roasted according to the custom. So that's the traditional way that they've been processed and used in South America. And from there, after the fire roasting, that product is shipped over to Switzerland for extraction. And it undergoes this extraction process in order to pull out the key components, the beneficial components that we want in our product. So after those are extracted, then they're concentrated. So we, we concentrate it so that we have a more potent uh, blend, a more potent product. And then that goes through the last step of purification. This is another patented purification process that helps leave behind any undesired impurities or compounds in the plant and just end up with those key components that we're interested in in having in our product. So what we're left with at the end of that five-step process is highly concentrated, pure, and potent yerba mate extract powder. And that is the main component. That's the basis of unamate. So that process is designed to enrich these four key components of yerba mate. And these are what make our product so powerful. The, the four components, um, these are gonna provide the benefits that people are going to feel and experience from taking Unimate. So these four things are chlorogenic acid, theobromine, caffeine, and triterpene saponins, or you could just call them saponins. Um, so chlorogenic acid and theobromine are compounds that are kind of similar to caffeine. They have a lot of, of similar actions in the body but they're considered to be not quite as strong as caffeine and not in a bad way, but just almost, I guess you could say like gentler than caffeine in their effects. So uh, those three especially are gonna have very synergistic effects on some of the same mechanisms that we know and think of when we think of the positive benefits of caffeine. So things like enhanced focus, attention, energy, and mood that caffeine can support that is also supported by the chlorogenic acids and the theobromine. And theobromine you may have heard of, this is a, the key component in chocolate. So when you hear that eating dark chocolate is good for you, uh, that is based on the theobromine content of chocolate. So just an interesting side fact about theobromine. And then lastly, the saponins, um, these have been shown in scientific literature to be able to influence obesity related, uh, fat metabolism related gene expression. So you can imagine after hearing all of those benefits from these four different compounds, how combining those four into a single product 
is going to create a lot of important benefits for us. Okay, but of those four, uh, chlorogenic acid is what I would say is the most important of those four components in the Unamate. And one of the reasons for that, it's just the most uh, prevalent. So it has the highest amount of all the four in Unamate. And it is, chlorogenic acid is a biologically active compound that's found in plants. So we call these biologically active compounds phytochemicals, phyto meaning plant. So many of you may have already heard of chlorogenic acid because it's also found in coffee. Um, but it's also in yerba mate, obviously. It's also in other foods like prunes and pears and eggplants. And there is just an insane amount of research that has gone on on chlorogenic acid because people recognize the benefits of it. So if you just Google benefits of chlorogenic acid, you could have content to read for like a month or more. But I've listed a few of just the key areas of research that support benefits in these areas. So we've got neuroprotective and antioxidant properties of chlorogenic acid. Um, it's been shown to support feelings of well-being, so just general mood, healthy blood pressure, healthy glucose levels, and weight management. Maybe thinking, well, how much chlorogenic acid does Unamate have? Is it just a little sprinkling? How does it compare to coffee? Well, we've actually scientifically tested our Unamate product and shown that it has up to 370 times more chlorogenic acid than like a standard yerba mate drink you might find on the shelf at the grocery store. In terms of its relation to coffee, um, it's a range. So it's gonna be about two to 10 times more chlorogenic acid than coffee. And the reason for that range is that the, the amount in coffee is going to vary by the type of coffee, where it's grown, how it's processed, how it's prepared. So it is a range, but in any case, for the most part, you're getting more chlorogenic acids per serving, per cup of Unamate than you would be finding in a cup of coffee. 